Presented by Sega Enterprises and Fuji Television. Round 5, Spain. Welcome to Circuit de Catalunya. España, a country of the sun, with a long history of creative geniuses such as Gaudi, Picasso, and Dali. The area of Catalonia hosts the Spanish Grand Prix at a circuit 20 kilometers north of Barcelona. This mid to high speed course is one of the newest and most modern facilities among the 16 current Grand Prix circuits. It is a highly technical circuit with a one kilometer long straight and a full range of corners. Intense competition for late breaking into the first corner provides drivers with the best opportunity to overtake. Well set up Formula One cars should be able to go through the S shaped Nissan corner at high speed and then into the left hand hairpin curve, a second passing area. A technical circuit from which next generation genius drivers seem to hail. This is Catalonia. Hey there guys, I'm just going to do a bit of commentating for this part of the video. Um, yes, that is me playing the game. And uh, I've already qualified, so I just skipped that and I've gone straight to the main race here. And I got pole position. And this is a very good course at Barcelona, Spain. Uh, it took me about three laps just to get 
just to get the hang of it. So that's pretty good. Pretty good course. This is a very good Formula 1 racing game. It's a very good one for Sega. In fact, I think it's the best one I've ever played. And I'm not I'm not a big fan of uh, racing games. So it takes a lot for me to get into a, a racing game like this. You know, I've played Super Monaco GP and Ayrton Senna's Super Monaco Grand Prix 2 on the Sega Mega Drive and I don't like them ones much. The handling is pretty shit on those ones. This game has beautiful handling. The graphics are a lot better. It's, it's using the that's doing that um, scaling and rotation that the Mega CD was good for. And the graphics are very colourful. And as you saw before, this game is this is a fully licensed game. It's got all the drivers from the 1993 Formula One season. Uh, but for some reason, one of the drivers was missing from this game. Maybe some of you already know that, maybe some don't. Um, it was Ayrton Senna, the late great Ayrton Senna. Um, for some reason he's missing from this game. But his name, his name did come up um, before because I put his name in. Because in the 1993 season he did drive for McLaren and in this game that's the spot that's empty so you can you can put your own name in that in his spot so I just I just re-entered his name uh, Beyond the Limit represents a departure from conventional racing games it preserves the feeling of the racetrack through lightning fast screen action that actually makes you feel that it's you in that driving seat. In addition, you can control the features of your car to such depth that you have to battle with the technical comp complexities of the sport. To heighten the racing realism, you can follow the 1993 Grand Prix schedule exactly. Alternatively, Select a race from the series and rise to the challenge that faced a particular driver during one section of that race. If you're not ready for that yet, warm up with a few free practice laps on the track of your choice. So in this game you can you can follow the 1993 uh, Grand Prix season exactly with all the every detail in it. Or you can just play the main main Grand Prix like I'm doing here. Now, I've gotten very good at this game. I bought it a few weeks ago. Well, actually, more than a few weeks ago. Just over a month ago. And I've, I've already finished it. I finished it already with uh, my favourite team, Ferrari. And the, the ending is very good, it's very rewarding. And so this is my second run through the Grand Prix season. And again I'm racing with Ferrari. So despite what other people say, this is a very good game. I mean. I wouldn't pay attention to CGR, Classic Game Room. I mean, he's, he's just talking shit. He bought this game for two bucks. And he probably only played it once, and he, 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 you know, he just based his review on that one go. I mean, this is a terrific game. The handling is so well done. I mean, if you're going to do a review, you, you, you've got to play the game a couple of times at least. You can't just play it once and, and then just do a quick shitty review. Come on. Yep, I'll be going into the pit soon. The tires are wearing out here. <coughs> oh 
Oh yeah, the last thing I wanted to mention is the music to this game is very well done. <coughs> um, most of the music was composed by Jun Sanui, uh, the guitarist for Crash 40, and he did a lot of work in a lot of the recent Sonic games. For example, Sonic Adventure, Sonic Adventure 2. Uh, he also did some work in Sonic 3. And uh, this game has a lot of, um, it has a few um, sound directors and programmers from the 16-bit Sonic the Hedgehog games. Come on. So there's a little bit of knowledge for you if you didn't know that. Half of the sound team in this game was carried over from the Sonic the Hedgehog games. Your biggest rival in this game is Alan Prost because he was really good in the 1993 Formula 1 season and as you can see in this race he's right up my ass. So he'll, he'll probably get second because he's, he's such a good driver in this game they made him so good. Now, this is a pretty good game Got Michael Schumacher in it. He's probably my favourite driver. Well, guys, I'm gonna have to cut the video here. Uh, if you want to watch the rest of the race, uh, just click on part two. And that's it for me for commenting. So enjoy the rest of the race. <laughs>